What are these tenants up to? They're, they're not necessarily being bad, it doesn't seem. They're not trashing the place, but I think they got to a point where they begin to think that the thing is theirs. They forgot that they are stewards and begin to think, well, I own it. They didn't trash the place, but they forgot to pay monthly rent. There are servants that the master sends. And these servants, guys, metaphorically throughout Old Testament, they're, they're the, the prophets. Most of the messages that the prophets are called by God to tell people are not the kinds of things that are gonna make people very, very happy. The message went something like this. God loves you. God gave you an incredible life and you are completely wrecking it. You have forgotten God. You need to repent and turn back to God. God loves you and I so much to give us multiple warnings, multiple messages. He is long suffering with us. He is patient with us. He gives us warning after warning after warning. And you know what's dangerous in the midst of these warnings? We may somehow begin to think, oh, well, I am living a sinful life of rebellion and it appears as though God doesn't care or maybe he's okay after all. He wants everybody just to be happy, right? And it may be okay. If you know that you are living in rebellion to God and you are not walking with him. Do not assume that because you have not suffered consequences for your actions, that the consequences are not coming. And look at this moment when the warnings are still there and the consequences may not be yet as evidence of this is a time of grace where I can choose to say, I'm going to say no to my sin and rebellion and I'm going to say yes to my master again. When the servant comes to warn me, I'm not gonna beat him up. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm going to say, you know what, you are right and I need help, would you pray for me? Would you help me get right with God again? 